Okay, thank you so much for watching, <clears throat> and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be watching spooky TikToks. Real spooky TikToks. <clears throat> and possibly some sneaky funny ones that are snuck in. <clears throat> I don't personally get on TikTok very often, so who knows what's going to happen, honestly. Most Jim. terrifying demonic activity ever caught on camera. Bobby, is that you? Bobby. I get it. I get it, man. You're just gonna stare at each other for like what? You got me. I don't know what the fuck their problem is. I'm gonna keep doing this shit. I'm just gonna stare at him then. Fuck it, right? What the fuck, man? Come on, get out, man. Get out. Come on. Go. Go, 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 go. Come on, just go to your room. Fine. You got me. Jim, you got me. You got me, man. You got Okay, it's good. And just stay in your room. Most Jim. terrifying demonic activity. Something is happening around the world. Animals are going around in circles. For days and nights, they don't stop. Scientists cannot explain why. more connected to the earth than we are. Do you think they know something we don't? What's causing this phenomenon? What do you think is happening? Comment your thoughts, I'd love to hear what you think is going on. Creepiest something creepiest home camera of footage PT point three. It's a dude, yo. It's probably her husband. <clears throat> hey, baby. Wanna make out? <laughs> Something's wrong with me. Spongebob shirt. Looks like Spongebob. Are you 
SpongeBob. Hey SpongeBob. Hey SpongeBob. The weirdest thing happened on my way home last night. They doing it? The weirdest oh. thing happened on my way home last before but other kids you are going to want to keep the light on for these spooky facts and history Princess Anastasia and her sisters were actually very close to lesbians they were taught to treat them as their friend and confidant and when they died it was revealed that they each wore amulets with this picture inside Mary I of England wanted a child so badly, she actually had a phantom pregnancy. Her abdomen swelled, she stopped menstruating, and she even vomited in the mornings. But no child came. The most chilling part? Mary thought it was God punishing her for tolerating heretics. The incident may very well have led to her brutal punishments of non-Catholics, earning her the nickname Bloody Mary. In the summer of 1518 in Strasbourg, France, a lone woman started dancing in the streets. But soon enough, people joined her, and they couldn't stop. The so-called dancing plague lasted for months, was maybe even fatal, and its reasons are I've still unknown today. In Brazil one year, a two-year-old boy died of pneumonia, but the family was shocked when he sat upright at the funeral and asked for a glass of water. Then suddenly, he collapsed again, leaving the coroner to proclaim him dead once more. You are going to want to keep the light on for these spooky facts and history. Princess Anastasia and her sisters were actually very... Okay, fun fact. Um, I went on a date. <clears throat> I went on a date with a guy once, and uh, it got really, like, quiet in the car, and I thought that it was, like, awkward, so I was like, hey, did you know that one time there was a dancing plague where people just couldn't stop dancing, and then, like, a bunch of people died because they couldn't stop dancing? And then I realized that that made it even more awkward, and he was like, that's weird. Yeah. I just shouldn't have said anything at all, but... Yeah. That was weird. Like a wasp, bro. That's totally a wasp. In the early in the early 1990s, the Sherman family moved into a country homestead that spread across 512 acres of northern Utah in a region known as the Uinta Basin. But shortly after moving in, horrifying things started to happen. When Terry and his wife Gwen bought the ranch, it had sat abandoned for many years, and because of that, they bought it well below market value. Upon viewing the home, they noticed that every window and door had multiple deadbolts on them inside and out, and there was a large stake in the front yard with a bunch of chains around it. But they were too excited about the ranch in general to even think twice about this. But shortly after settling in one night, Terry saw a huge animal that appeared to be a wolf creeping towards their livestock. 
It grabbed a calf in its jaws, and Terry ended up shooting it multiple times. The animal didn't seem hurt, but slowly walked back into the bushes. When Terry went to go check it out, he noticed a foul odor, like rotting flesh. Over the next 18 months, the Sherman family would be tormented by something on the ranch. They, along with many friends and family they would have over, would see beast-like creatures lurking in the woods on the property. Few of the family's dogs would be incinerated in the middle of the night. Their cows Aww. would disappear and then turn up mutilated, but in an oddly surgical manner, and they would also be drained of blood. Family claimed to see Aww. UFOs and strange lights, and they also claimed to see circular doorways appear on the property out of thin air. He finally got so scared that in 1996, after talking to the media, they sold the ranch to Robert Bigelow. Robert was a millionaire in the Las Vegas real estate, and was also a UFO down. enthusiast. But when he heard about the strange occurrences at the ranch, and the fact that the Uinta Basin of eastern Utah it's is a, a hot spot for UFO sightings, he bought the property. Robert created the National Institute for Discovery Science, Aliens. and under that he built an observation building on the property. He moved in several scientists and vets to conduct 24-7 surveillance and research. On March 12, 1997, while conducting research in the middle of the night, a biochemist claimed to have seen a large humanoid creature looking at the research team from a tree. It had yellow Creepy. eyes. The team fired at it and it disappeared, but it left behind a single oval track about six inches in diameter with two sharp claw prints. Many people on the crew witnessed paranormal activity and strange lights on the ranch. The ranch was then sold to Brandon Fugel, and he named it the Skinwalker Ranch. The Skinwalker Ranch is the most scientifically studied paranormal hotspot in the world. It has a long history of creepy, unexplained activity. What do you guys think? In the early 1990s, think they the need to burn that place down. Country Kill it with fire. Bother you, they never bother me. I live in and fire. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. Haven't got a lot, I don't need a lot. Where's that goat? I mean the lamb. Loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. A high end. He just wants cookies. No, 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 no. I'm not going in there, right? I just bought you a little snack pot. Oh, see? You wanted some snacks. Yep, that's yours, mate. That's all yours. Uh, watching. Let, let me show you another video of a black figure just popping up. I was watching this like at 3 a.m. Yeah. That I'm a fucking through your phone, bitch. I thought it was gonna be some like peony show up on the TV. This is the scariest video. I mean, on the TV. computer screen. So the video is just that trend where you play a scary audio and then you trap someone in a room and record the reaction. Now, normally in these videos, they'll have like a fake ghost effect, but this one's a little different because it has probably the creepiest thing I've ever seen in a TikTok. And that is this woman. She just stands there and stares the entire time. Like she barely moves at all. She's so still the whole time, people are debating whether or not she's even real. Now looking deeper into the account, the woman seems to just be this lady. But they also post a lot of paranormal videos about things that happen in their house. Like pictures moving on their own and creepy stuff like that. So maybe this lady is really just a ghost. But I'll let y'all decide that. Um. This is... You'll never look at a mall Santa the same way after hearing this story. So this photo was taken around 1920 in a Christmas fair happening outside of Boston. The young child in this photo is Alberta Porter, the daughter of Robert Porter, who was supposed to be Boston's next mayor. Apparently, this Santa had set up around the corner from the rest of the fair and was not visible from the rest of the fair. Robert and his daughter actually didn't even see the Santa until they were walking home. The line to see Santa inside of the fair was way too long, so when Alberta saw this Santa, she started crying and begging her dad to take a photo with him. So this photo was taken, and afterwards, the Santa asked if Alberta wanted to go on a short ride on the donkey, and she starts crying and begging her father again, so he agrees. But Alberta never returned. 
An hour went by and Santa still hadn't brought her back. Robert ran into the fair to ask an employee how long the donkey rides typically last, but the employee seemed really confused. There was no Santa with donkey rides at this fair. The employee pointed to the Santa who had a long line of children out in front of him and said that was the only Santa at the fair. Alberta was never found, and Robert actually dropped out of politics so to spend his entire life and savings on finding her and the man who took her, and never did. You'll never look at a mall Santa the same way after hearing this story. So this photo was taken around of a mall Santa the same way in around 1920. That mall Santa is creepy AF. You'll never look at a But... Yeah, that looks like the one is sitting next to you indeed. So I've been tagged many times on this video. I've also been sent this video. I tried to stitch it, but my stitches have been acting up. So we're gonna do this approach. And I'm tagging the creator here so you could go see her video. So we're gonna dissect it and see what possibly could be going on here because we need more data, we need more info, and we need a little more proof. So in this creator's video, she does pan the camera around the apartment to tell us that no one's there with her. But then she notices this reflection on the television screen. And we notice this happening right here. And it's pretty prominent. She does a follow-up here and we notice, yes, that is her shadow. She points that out. But this definitely looks darker and looks like a whole entire person. Based on her profile, this is not the type of content that she puts out. So that doesn't pose as a red flag to me. But could it be a trick of angles and lights? However, this phenomenon has been documented in the past, as seen right here. So something may be happening, but we need more documentation. Possibly a really good psychic and more follow-ups. That's pretty cool. This photo is of the Cincinnati Crawler. It was taken by a family who caught him in their home in 1974, but he escaped shortly afterwards. So in 1974, the Johnson family in Cincinnati noticed a couple weird things happening in their home. Gross. The 14-year-old daughter, Claire, would complain about seeing glowing eyes outside of her window at night. And then one night, the youngest son, Timmy, was laying in bed in the dark when he felt the family dog jump up onto his bed. But when he went to go pet it, it was not the dog. It was the crawler, who police still believe was responsible for the disappearance of four other boys in the area. Some believe that he was an escaped convict, believe while it. others actually believe that he was the victim of human experiments happening in the area that may have been conducted by the family's dad. Claire snapped this photo of him before he escaped, but he was never found since. This photo is of the Cincinnati. This story is going. This story is going wild. A few days ago, a channel called Unexplained Mysteries uploaded a video revealing what appears to be the lost photographs of a late 1800s explorer. The man who claimed to have found these photos would only refer to himself as Mr. William. He claimed he was renovating an old property that he had purchased, and as he was cleaning it, he found various items predating the 1960s. These photos were allegedly found between the pages of a book. What's shown in these pictures is quite shocking. It appears to be documentation of an anonymous explorer's journey to an unknown jungle. <coughs> Amongst the photos, there are various images of both people and plant life that look completely alien to anything that we're aware of. This photo shows what appears to be a tribe member with oddly disproportionate facial features. Yet, he's wearing what looks like would have been modern clothing for the day. And the trees in this unknown jungle look like something straight out of science fiction. Like and follow for daily shocking and spooky stories. This story is going wild. A few days ago... Has anyone ever tried to talk to you in a public bathroom? Once a young girl went into a public bathroom and heard from the stall next to hers, shall we put on the red vest? She got scared, ran off, and called the police. Two officers arrived. One went in and heard the same voice asking, shall we put on the red vest? The officer outside heard her reply, okay, put it on. Suddenly, a loud scream, then a thump. The second officer opened the door to check on his partner, then found her head rolling on the ground and blood all the way down her back making it look like she was wearing a red vest. In Japanese urban legend, the Akamanto is a ghost who haunts bathrooms, specifically female bathrooms. He wears a red cape and hides his face with a white mask. If he chooses you, he will ask you if you want to wear a red vest or a blue vest. If you say red, he will chop your head off. If you say blue, he will grab you by the neck until your face turns blue and you suffocate. If you try to ask for a third color, the floor will open up and a pair of pale hands will reach up and drag you to hell. Has anyone ever tried to talk? Disturbing things caught on camera. All Lauren right, Collins then. lives in an isolated area and enjoys spending time with her two pets. She would upload videos about her two pets to the internet until one day strange events started happening. First, while talking to her sister in the kitchen, a bottle suddenly fell on the table. Next, while exploring her backyard, she noticed a half dead tree with holes. After closing up on the tree, she finds the skull of a dead animal. If that wasn't creepy and disturbing enough, wait until you see this.
If this creeped you out, hit the plus sign. Disturbing things caught on camera. Lauren right. Combs lives in an ice. Scary story using this filter, part six. It's a quiet evening in Nigeria. Quinton is in his hotel room watching girls. Suddenly, the hotel phone rings. Ding a ling a ling a ling. Quinton picks up the phone and answers it. Hello. <laughs> met with silence, but then a creepy voice whispers through the phone. Quinton, California girl. Who is this? Who are you? Says Quinton. It's me. John Travolta. <laughs> Quinton gags in horror. <laughs> Please leave me alone. I have gonorrhea. But the line goes dead. <laughs> Quinton looks back to the TV. The channel has changed. On the screen, Peppa Pig. No, please. <laughs> I'm vegan. Quinton crawls to the door of the hotel. But in the way stands a shadowy figure. It's John Travolta. And in his hand, a Grenade. You're <laughs> gonna pay for what you did to those kids, says John Travolta. But I didn't mean to pee on those kids, says Quinton. <laughs> John Travolta laughs seductively. <laughs> Tell that to Satan. <laughs> when you see him in Alaska, he raises his grenade. <laughs> Prepare to weep. <laughs> Moral of the story. Nobody pees on kids and lives to tell the tale. The Awkward end. story. I'm telling you a scary story using this filter. Part six. All right. Well, this has been the spooky TikToks. <laughs> I think that's a good one to end it on. So, thanks for watching. If you like these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.